Okay, this video is on how to s solve for x. The following steps are the steps for solving for x. Solving means tell me what x equals. Step 1, clear the fractions. You're going to do this by multiplying each term by a common denominator. Step 2, distribution. Multiply a number outside of a parenthesis times each number in the parentheses. Step 3, combine like terms on each side of the equal sign. Step 4, get x's to one side of equal sign. You use add and subtract to do this. Step 5, add and subtract numbers to get x by itself. And then step 6 is multiply or divide numbers to get x by itself. So these are the steps. Let's try them. Step 1, clear fractions. We have fractions, so we're going to try to clear them. Uh, what we need to do is multiply by a common denominator. Remember, 3 really means 3 over 1, so that's a fraction also. Uh, common denominator between 4, 5, and 1. One way of finding a common denominator might be not might not be the lowest, but if you multiply all the denominators, all the bottoms together, you can find a common denominator. So 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 1 is 20, so common denominator is 20. If I take x plus 4, I mean x over 4, and multiply it by 20, then I take my equal sign, and then I take the x over 5, Multiply that by my common denominator, 20. And then I take my minus 3 and multiply that by my common denominator, 20. So one way of clearing the fractions is multiplying each term by 20. Well, what I can say now is 4 goes into 20 five times. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 20 four times here. Okay, so we divided tops and bottoms, 24 goes into 25 times, and 5 goes into 24 times. Now that we've done that, we can multiply x times 5. We get 5x. I'm going to put the number in front. There's a 1 on the bottom, so we don't have anything on the bottom. You can say 5 over 1, but another way of saying 5 over 1 is just saying 5. Okay, so uh, we got an equal sign, x times 4, we've got 4x, and then a negative 3 times 20 is a negative 60. Okay, so we just cleared the fraction. Step 2, distribute. There's no distribution, there's no number outside of a parenthesis. Step 3, combine like terms. On the right-hand side, 4x minus 20 cannot be added or subtracted together. They're not like terms. And on the left, we only have a 5x. Step 4. Get x's to one side using add or subtract. I have a 5x on the left side and a 4x on the right. We want to get all the x's to one side. It's a lot easier taking the x's to the highest positive side. So I'm going to take the 4x to the other side. Well, how do you take it to the other side? You have to use, read your steps over here, you have to use add or subtract. So, it's a plus 4x. The only way to get it to you is do the opposite. We're going to minus 4x to both sides. Five x minus four x is one x. Another way of saying 1x is just by saying x. x is another way of saying 1x. On the right-hand side, 4x minus 4x cancels out, turns to 0. And we have a negative 60 on the right-hand side. We're done. Solve means tell me what x equals. I have x by itself. x equals a negative 60. Let's try the next question. Step one, clear any fractions. There are no fractions. Step two, distribute. I have a parentheses, so I can use distribution. Now, there's just because there's not a number outside of the parentheses doesn't mean there is a number there. <coughs> there is a number. It's an invisible one. 
there's an invisible one sitting right outside that parentheses. There's a negative sign. That means there's an invisible one. So there is a distribution. It's negative 1 times 5x and negative 1 times a negative 7. So step 2 of our, remember, if we go to the top and read our rules again, step 1, clear fraction. Step 2, distribute. So we're going to distribute. There were no fractions. We're distributing. We have our 7x, and we have negative 1 times a positive 5. That's a negative 5x. Then we have negative 1 times a negative 7. Negative 1 times a negative 7. Negative times a negative is a positive. Equals 51. Okay, so let me make this a little bit cleaner. So the next step is combine like terms on each side. On the left-hand side, I have like terms, 7x minus 5x. Those are like terms. 7x minus 5x. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2x. And then I have a plus 7. And it equals 51. The next step is use add or subtract. Let's go back up here just to remind you of the steps. The next step, after you get x's to one side, we don't have x's. We already have the x's to one side. Let's take a look. You see how all the x's are on the left-hand side? There was never any x's on the right-hand side. So, since all the x's are on one side, we're on step 5. Add or subtract numbers to get x by itself, and then multiply or divide. So, we're on step 5, doing the add or subtract numbers. So, the one way of looking at this, what's the 2 doing to the x? It's multiplying. What's the 7 doing to the x? It's adding. So, we do the add and subtracts first. And we always do the opposite. It's a plus 7. We're going to minus 7 to both sides. 7 minus 7 is 0. We're left with 2x on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, 51 minus 47. 51 minus 7, excuse me, is 44. And the last thing we need to do is step 6, multiply or divide. It's a 2 times x. The only way to get rid of the 2 is do the opposite. Opposite of timesing by 2 is dividing both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x. And I'm going to write 1x just with an x. 44 divided by 2 is 22. My answer for this problem, solving for x, x equals 22. Solve means tell me what x equals x equals 22. And I'm going to the next problem right away. So the last problem of the day. Step one, clear fractions. There are no fractions. Step two, distribute if you can. I can. I have this number outside the parentheses, which means multiply, so I distribute here. I also have this two outside the parentheses, so I'm distributing here. 3 times 1x is 3x. 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12. Then I bring down the plus 17. You only distribute what's inside the parentheses. 2 times 1x is 2x. 2 times a positive 15 is a positive 30. A plus 30. So we distributed. The next step is combine like terms, and I have these two terms over here. I have 2x plus 30. They're not like. X's can only be added with X's. Numbers can be added with numbers. So a negative 12 and a plus 17, those are like terms. Negative 12 plus 17 is a plus 5. And there's a 3x here. Equals 2x plus 30. Okay, next is use add or subtract to get x's on one side. They're on two different sides. I want to take x's to the highest positive side, so I want to take this 2x to the other side. The only way you can do it, if you look at the steps, is using add or subtract. It's a plus 2x. I have to do the opposite. I'm going to minus 2x to both sides. 
2x minus 2x on the right hand side is 0. I'm left with a 30 over there. 2x minus, or 3x minus 2x is 1x, and I still have a 5. So the last thing I have to do is take the 5 on the left hand side to the other side. The only way to do that, ask yourself, what's that 5 doing to the x? It's adding, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to minus 5 both sides. 5 minus 5 is 0. We're left with x equals 30 minus 5 is 25. This is what my answer is when I'm solving for x. I just want you to recap here. Anytime you're solving for x, you should have these steps. Step number 1, clear the fractions. Step 2, use distribution. And that you only use that when you have a number outside of a parentheses and you multiply it times each term in the parentheses. Next, we're going to combine like terms. You add x's with x's, add numbers with numbers on each side of the equal sign separately. Then we're going to get x's to one side using add or subtract. Try to get the x's to the highest positive side. Then once you do that, you want to get the x by itself. So you do the add and subtracts of the numbers for step 5. And then you're going to do the multiply or divide of the numbers for step 6. Then you will have the x's by your side. By one side. So this concludes this video. Thank you.